Happy Resurrection Day, friends. He is risen. And so, um, yeah, good morning. The girls are looking for their eggs around the house. We got up this morning and watched a um, video about Easter because now they're old enough to realize that you know it's, it's not about the Easter Bunny. Even though I tell them that every year, but now I feel like they can, they should remember it. And so we watched a video about Easter, and um, they came down and got their their goodies and stuff. I told them it's from mommy and daddy and Nana, and, and the Easter Bunny left some eggs. Uh, so now I gotta start cooking, girl. I have not prepped anything. Usually I prep a little bit the night before girl, but I was tired, so I didn't. Um, but let me show you what, let me tell you what our menu is going to be today. I'm gonna roast a chicken. I have some greens that my mom made me. Um, we're gonna have a little bit of mac and cheese, a little bit of dressing, and probably some glazed carrots, and possibly some cream corn. I know that's a lot, but listen, I'm cooking today, girl, and I'm not cooking for the next two days, so um, that's, the menu, Zara's gonna be my sous chef when she's done looking for the eggs and everything. And so I'm gonna start off by making my cornbread uh, for the dressing. Oh, girls. I can't open this. You want the candy? You want cotton candy, girls? We didn't even eat breakfast yet. Oh. Just a oh, little bit. Like a carrot. Okay. Looks so good. The girls found all 34 eggs. <laughs> And 34 can eggs we and write them. One toy and now they, um, yeah, you can open it. Okay. Uh, Mommy's gonna start cooking, okay? The girls like yeah. their LOL disco dolls. This is the first disco doll. Yet. Santa it was hard for Santa to find these at Christmas time. Mom, can I have the scissors? Okay, let well, mommy cut it. All right, got my coffee and my cornbread is done. I'm gonna let this sit here for a while. I should have really made it last night, but it is what it is, girl. We gotta do what we gotta do. Let's talk about this chicken, y'all. Oh, I hate touching raw chicken, okay? You guys know that have been subscribed. Every time I do a cook with me meal, like for a holiday, I, <laughs> I hate touching raw chicken. I like to eat it. I just don't like to touch it and smell it raw. Um, so I think I'm gonna butterfly this chicken um, and cook it in my cast iron skillets. I'm gonna use the stovetop kisses recipe. Love her channel for co cooking. Oh man, talk about delicious meals. You guys should go check her out. Um, I'll leave a link in the description box. But yeah, she roasted like it was like a sweet and tangy kind of um, chicken that she did, did. I'll probably, you know, do my own spin just using the seasonings that I have here and just go from there. But yeah, I'm gonna let, just sit this out for a little bit and let it get to be room temperature. I'm going to sit down and, and eat my coffee so I don't have enough energy today. <laughs> and then we'll start on the dressing. Okay, my sous chef is um, shredding the cheese for mac and cheese. Very good, baby. So I have to improvise because I don't have everything that I typically have when I make a holiday meal. I did not have any celery to put in my dressing. But I did have a bell pepper, so I am using celery seed seasoning to make it hopefully taste I like celery and I have, of course I have sage and poultry seasoning, black pepper, garlic in here. So I'm going to let this cook down so that the peppers get soft and let down a little bit. I have my seasoned water here, seasoned it with, if I had extra chicken stock I would put chicken stock and boil the, the macaroni um, noodles in chicken stock but I don't have extra chicken stock right now. I just have enough to make my dressing and some gravy for my chicken. I still have not started my chicken yet, but I want to get everything else set and ready and then I will go ahead and clean my chicken and season it and everything. All right, so I'm getting ready to brown my Jimmy Dean sausage. Now I typically use sage, but this is just all we had. We had a half a pack of the regular sausage, so I'm gonna brown that up for the dressing. Okay, I'm only doing a half a box of Barilla macaroni because, I mean, I have a whole nother box in there. I just don't want to open another box and it's just us, so I'm only gonna do a half a box, which is a half a pound. Yep, we're gonna stir it. Go ahead and get a big spoon out, babe. My sous chef has finally joined me. This one? She was playing. Uh, no, let's get a plastic one. She was playing with her, this one, wait. She was playing with her, um. Easter? Yeah, I mean, my, her my gifts. LOL, big doll. Yeah. Where is the other phone? Let's find it, hold on. Couldn't find the spoon, so we'll just use a one-on-one. Go ahead and stir it. Just stir it one good time, that's it. All right, that's good, baby. 
and we're gonna let it cook for seven minutes. Okay, um, macaroni's al dente, I drained it and put it back in this hot pan. We're gonna add our cheese, our sour cream, yep. our um, heavy cream, because I don't have half and half. Stir it up, our seasoning, which is just gonna be um, white pepper, a little bit of garlic, maybe a little bit of paprika for color, I don't know. I usually don't add paprika, but since all of our cheese is white, I may. Um, and then our eggs, and we'll be ready to bake it. Good job, girl, good job. Okay, that's good. Let's mix that up. Take your spoon and mix that up. Hold the spoon the other way. There you go. Mix it. Mix it. Let's add some heavy cream. It's going to be a beautiful white um, macaroni. Let's add the heavy cream. Okay, we added about a quarter stick of butter. We're going to add some more cheese and our heavy cream. Okay, so I had to get creative with this because we only had one kind of cheese, which was this three-year cheddar. I added a lot more seasoning than I typically do. We added white pepper, some smoked paprika, mustard, garlic, um, salt. And now I, think, I feel like it tastes good, of course, and an egg. So we have a bag of like regular cheddar cheese. I'm gonna put yellow cheddar on top to give it a little crust, and this is ready to bake. This is the smallest amount of cornbread dressing I've ever made. <laughs> I have to improvise because I don't have any white bread. I just had one used one thing of cornbread and of course my chicken stock and I season it with sage. Sorry, the kids are playing poultry, black pepper. Got some butter in my little dish here. Literally, it's just me and my husband that eat this. The girls do not, so that's why it's so small. I'm gonna taste it and make sure it's ready. I might order, add a little bit more chicken stock because it's, let's see, that's usually what I try to listen for. Taste it, see if it needs anything and then it'll be ready to go. Here's our dressing, it's all ready to go. It's kind of thick, so it will Take a little bit, it'll probably take a normal 30 minutes. This'll, this'll be done in probably 20 minutes, 20, 30. It's not as thick as I typically make it, but I'm not gonna put these in yet. I'm just gonna um, wrap them in foil and I'll get ready to put them in the oven in about 30 minutes or so. All right, y'all, it is time for me to conquer this chicken, okay? So, what I have here is my rub. It smells really good. I put some pink Himalayan salt, pepper, garlic, smoked paprika, Trader Joe's onion salt. This is what it looks like here. Let me show you the smoked paprika that I use because it is so good. I love this brand of seasoning because, uh, I don't know, I've just never been disappointed. They're pretty expensive. I try to buy them only when they're on sale, but this Spice Island um, brand is really good. I use their sage, their poultry seasoning, and the smoked pap paprika, and I put, um, their Spice Island po poultry seasoning in here as well. Some smoked paprika that gives it that like punch. Like you could really smell it. It smells so good. I think I'm gonna add some sage to this as well. Like I said, I added the, the poultry seasoning, pepper, garlic. Um, I might add this 21 seasoning salute. I'm gonna smell it and see if I need to add it to it. You really have to use your nose with the rub. That's how I know it's, it's good. However this rub smells, that's how your chicken is gonna smell. So if it smells good to you, great. If you need to add to it, add to it. But add a little bit at a time because you know, we can always add, but we can't take away. Right, y'all, I'm going for it. I'm gonna clean the chicken, transfer it here, pat it dry, and then I'm going to, what did my mom say? Spatchcock, spatch something. Basically, it's just a butterfly chicken. <laughs> oh, wish me luck. All right, y'all, I got my baby bird buttered up. You see it, she's buttered up nice and good. So now I'm going to get up underneath the skin here so I can put some butter underneath there. And and to be honest with you, this is only maybe a quarter of a stick of butter. This is a small chicken, it's only five pounds. I have my oven preheated to 425 and I have my dry rub there. I'm gonna have Charles sprinkle it with the dry rub because I don't want to cross contaminate. So I'm taking these spats of butter and putting it underneath the skin like so. I cut these up before I started touching the chicken. You know, you gotta be clean. I just have to disinfect my sink. But I'm proud of myself, girl, because I did it. I really, really, really did not want to do this. <laughs> I just hate this. <laughs> I'd rather just, if somebody can come and clean the, the meat, I will be happy to season it. Girl, but cleaning this meat is a process, to say the least. Let's cut that in half. So, um, like I said, Charles is gonna get ready to sprinkle this up and I'll get the bird in the oven. And here we have it, y'all. Nice and seasoned. She's ready to go in. It's gonna be delicious. We season all the sides of the wings and underneath the legs. 
It smells really, really good. My hands are dirty, so I can't film. This is Charles filming. But, um, yeah, she's ready. Got that butter underneath there. So like I said, I'm super cooking this, 425, because I want crispy skin. And what I did was with the back that I cut out, I um, put some chicken stock and water in there. I'm just gonna make stock out of this, this back that I cut out, and then I'll make gravy in case anybody wants any gravy, so, yep. Ready. The chicken's looking really good. Oh my gosh, the chicken is the skin is like fried chicken. I don't know what happened with these. These are gonna cook for a while. I forgot to tell my husband to take the foil off, so I'm gonna let those cook and um then I'll put the my mom was so kind and made me some candy yams to put in the oven. I'm just gonna pop them in. These only take 20 minutes because she boils the uh potatoes first, so they're pretty much done. You just have to bake it so that you know all the sugar and the butter melts together make some gravy i'm going to take some drippings from inside of the chicken from the pan from the cast iron and put them in here and then i'm going to pour some of this now that was the back the carcass part i don't even know it's the spine i guess that i cut off i've been boiling now for about 45 minutes and so i'm just going to pour a little bit of this this is like chicken stock as well into it add my flour and try to just make my gravy okay so this is a combination of drippings from the pan uh the stock made from here and regular chicken stock that i have left over and i'm just now it's hot starting to sizzle so i'm going to start slowly adding my um flour oh i know it looks extra crispy because it is but baby when i tell you it smells so good so so good oh I'm gonna take a little bit of extra dripping and put it in my gravy. Oh, I'm gonna base this first and then put it in my um, gravy as well. And wait for everything else to get done. Y'all, my gravy tastes so good. It's a little lumpy, but listen, girl, we gotta do what we gotta do. I don't have any gravy mass or anything. I'm just made this from scratch. I seasoned it with pretty much the same stuff I seasoned the chicken with. I used the drippings from the chicken. The consistency is good, I just need to make more of it. So I'm slowly adding the chicken stock, the flour, and I'm just whisking away. Mac and cheese is sizzling, she is done. So I'm gonna cover that in foil um, so it'll stay warm before, So um, by the time we eat. All right, I decided to make some last minute red lobster cheddar biscuits, because I had it in my pantry and I figured, hey, might as well make it, I'm trying to use what's here, you know? So um, I'm, I made up the mix and now I'm going to put it in the oven. This is perfect. See how it moves a little bit still? And the uh, perimeter's crispy. All done. Here's our spread, our Easter spread. The girls put their vitamins on their plate because they have to eat those, but food's almost ready. So I found these old kitchen towels that I have that are Easter themed, so I've just put these in the center. Um, I think it looks cute and a little Easter decorations. I am gonna bring, be bringing the food over here, so it's kind of like we'll all be able to just serve. I'll be able to just make everybody's plate once we all sit down. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, here's our spread. Oh, I forgot the greens. I gotta go warm those up. I cut the chicken up. We have our red lobster cheddar biscuits, some candy yams, uh, cornbread dressing, macaroni, and let me get the greens. Bon appetit. Getting ready to FaceTime family for our Easter dinner. Later. Okay, a couple of hours have passed. We had a great dinner. Um, this is our kitchen is mostly clean. So now Zara and I are. That's right. We're making brownies for dessert. Mixing it away. We are all stuffed. <laughs> I cut the brownies really small for the girls because it's getting kind of late. It's 7:40. Well, it's not late, but. It's 7.40 and they have school tomorrow, online class, so they'll be going to bed probably within an hour. They took a shower earlier um, when I did, so they're already bathed. And yeah, that's it. I hope and pray that you guys had a wonderful Resurrection Day, Easter Sunday. And I'm just looking forward to the next week and just getting things done, getting a more structured routine. I kind of talked about it in my live. I'll be doing weekly lives now. Friday nights, girl. It's an unwind with me. It's a co conversation and cocktails. It doesn't have to be an alcoholic cocktail. It could be juice. It could be water. It could be a beer. It could be wine. Whatever you want. Just for us to just, I don't know, just get things off our chest and just to connect and chat. I love doing that with you guys. So I'm look, looking forward to that. So now I'm going to get their homeschool areas ready, making sure they're 
uh, Chromebooks are charged, pencils are sharpened, everything's printed out that we need for the upcoming week, and um, yeah, then we'll go. I'm gonna get some Bible study time done. We'll read my Bible because I didn't read it earlier today. So I'm gonna read my Bible and then just hit the bed, girl, because I was on my feet all day cooking and your girl was tired. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, you can tap my picture up above and you can also check out my previous video right over here in all of my social media platforms, all listed down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.